Michigan endured a historic ice storm last month, plunging hundreds of thousands of homes and businesses into darkness. Today, top officials from DTE Energy and Consumers Energy were in the hot seat at the Capitol, explaining to lawmakers why it took so long to restore power. Our Capitol correspondent Tim Skubik has the details. That horrific ice storm that engulfed large portions of lower Michigan late last month will not soon be forgotten especially by the more than 600,000 utility customers who lost power and then waited and waited for the juice to come back. The event will also not be forgotten by these legislators who took turns quizzing utility leaders today on why those delays and after constituents bombarded them with a mountain of complaints in hand. The hearing began appropriately, some say, with an apology. I do want to apologize on behalf of myself and all of our customers and all of our employees to the customers and communities that lost power. We recognize that any time without power is a hardship and when you have to go days without power, it's even harder on our customers. This is not the service that we expect to give to our customers. The head of DTE blamed climate change for part of the problem while pointing out that his company did restore service to 95% of its customers within three days. It was that left over 5% that drew lots of criticism. They cut jobs and services in support of higher shareholder earnings on the backs of already overcharged customers. And then the customers get an unreliable product. He explained that he did not cut the power returning budget in order to fatten the dividends for investors, as some have alleged. And when asked about if he favored getting customers more than $35 back, he said, well, that was up to the State Public Service Commission. Turns out the State Utility Regulation Commission is now proposing a rebate of $35 a day to cover losses from long-term power outages. The Consumer Energy CEO was not at the table, but two vice presidents were, and they summed up the problem in one simple answer, more money. This VP did not use the term utility rate increase on you, but preferred the term instead proper investment. We all want a reliable grid, every single one of us. And I think that's something we all can agree on. What we need to do is work together to make sure we're supporting the proper investments that need to happen so that we can have the reliable grid. This member of the state commission reports that the panel cannot make management decisions for the utilities. It will launch a first time independent audit of those decisions with an eye toward improving outage service the next time this happens. Here for you in Lansing, Tim Skubik, 6 News.